Welcome new scythes! Amy here with iWire. Congratulations on your promotion to the iWire Major Leagues. In this video, we're going to just briefly go over all the new features that you have as a scythe. So, first of all, you'll notice that your control panel has changed a little bit. The flag button has disappeared and it's been replaced with some new buttons. So we'll come back to all of these later. But for now, we're going to start off by inspecting a cube. Now I'm just choosing a random cube from this cell. I'm going to go inspect it. So typically as a site, you would be adding to uh, an incomplete cube or else you'd be removing a merger from the cube. Um, so you would do it just like mapping in a normal cube, except you can see the completed consensus here. And every little piece that you, that you add, so say you were going to click you know, to add some segments to this branch. Um, those will go in and actually edit the consensus of iWire. So when you think that you have perfectly mapped a cube, a cube that has an error in it from the overview, you would then go in and hit reap. And when you reap, you're going to reweight the consensus. It's a pretty serious action in the game. Um, as a scout, you would have pressed the flag button when you found a piece like this, but as a scythe, you want to first make sure that the cube is, um, is complete, and then once you are sure that the cube is complete, then you want to press the read button. This will add weight 2 to the consensus, and hopefully your trace will help us get closer to a fully accurate reconstruction of the cell. Then you hit submit and proceed, and we'll take you back to the overview. So now that we're back in the overview, you can see that um, the cube should have turned orange because it has been scythed, um, and, and your name will have been added to the players who have done that cube. And now you go and add the cube to the scout log as you normally would. And now, now that you have reaping powers, you can also check the scout log for entries that other players have made. By adding your scythe weight to the consensus, you should be able to add in segments or remove mergers permanently. Once you have added your weight to a scythe cube, you can update the cube's status to good in the scout log. The other new power you have as a scythe is the power to complete cell branches. Now, to declare a branch complete, first you must inspect it. Now, this doesn't mean you know going in and inspecting every single cube along the branch in the actual inspect window. What it means, rather, is looking really closely. You want to check the ends of the branches before you declare them complete. You also want to zoom really close and let the full map, the full 3D model load, and just check all the way around the branch and make sure there's not any jagged edges. So you always must check the ends before you declare them complete. But so let's say that we, you know, have checked all, all the, you know, from here all the way down to here and that we're ready to declare um, from this, this point to the end of the branch as complete. Now we need to mark it to, as complete to indicate to other sides and admins that we believe it's finished. To do this, we use the complete button, the C, purple C, or you can use CC command on your keyboard. Um, complete button which is in your scythe toolbox. In this case, we want to complete all the cubes from the one we have selected to the end of the branch. So to do this, we want to press the up arrow icon. Also, I'm going to go hit uncomplete since that's not actually completed. The down arrow icon uh, is actually the parent button, and that one completes all the ancestors. If you hit that one, it will complete all the way up from this branch all the way up to the soma on this cell. After two sides have completed a branch, the branch will be locked and those cubes will no longer be assigned to players. So it's a great idea to inspect and complete cells and pairs. You get completed points for completing cell branches, which can be found in your profile. So let me pull up a scythe profile right now. So check out Nesseroff. So you can see he's done quite a few um, scythe, quite a few scythe points and completed points. Um, it's important to note that you these completed points are awarded once per day at midnight, so they don't show up in your profile immediately, and we do that so that there's a little bit of leftover time for the game masters to check over and make sure that there weren't any mistakes. There's one more button that we haven't gone over yet, which you might be wondering about, and that is the little S button, Show Me Me. This button shows you all the branches that you have completed on your current cell. So if I, when I have this completed on, just to, as, a, as a demonstration, when I click it the first time, it's going to show me what I have completed, just this little segment in the cell. The second time, it's going to show me all the things that all the other players have completed, and the third time, will disable it. So let me now go and mark this um, these back as uncomplete so that we can go back in and play the game as normal. 
that's about all you need to know about scything in a nutshell. Um, you are now an iWire gatekeeper, so show those cells who's boss. Thanks again for playing, happy scything, and as always, if you have any questions, just ask us in chat or shoot us a quick email. For science!